Hello, buddy. Welcome back to Let's Play Arts Fire 4 Kaiserreich. Um, as this mess, let us continue on from where we last left off. A uh, victory point rush towards Riga. And I'm also trying to take... Um... What the hell are you doing? I'm also trying to take Kiev, because I think we, we definitely need Kiev to fall. Yeah, so take this area, move your way up north, please, and thank you. Blue Army is doing something. I... I <laughs> look, I'm gonna... Look, it's a mess, okay? They're not pretty. You know, like... Okay, Poland joining the International... Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's actually really good. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be until they get called into the war, but Germany is going to have a direct front line with the Interna well, another front line with the International. How many troops do you guys have? 11 to 50? Again, I want you moving your way this way. Um, and then go as aggressively as you possibly can. Poland is now in the war. Once again, try to take Kiev. Because I don't know if Kiev will be exactly enough to kill um, Ukraine, but it's going to definitely get us closer than if we, you know, didn't have it. And you're... yeah, technically you're Finland. Okay, you're pushing it away. If they Krakow and uh, Lvov really, really quickly. Den Denmark's fallen! Poggy, let's go! Okay. Move your way to this city. I mean, you might as well... Move your way around like this. Again, you're here. Just stay where you're at. Again, at least for the time being. Sweden, push your way down south. There's an insurrection in... Okay, if you take Lvov, that's going to kill Glicia Lodimiria. We have more troops coming up their way north. Again, this is this is maybe one of the scrappiest wars I've ever fought. Between this and, like, the Qing campaign, we're having some really scrappy engagements, Okay. Mostly because we, we have way less troops than I think we really need to sustain this war effort. Okay, we have troops coming in their way now. Well, you don't need four. I need more units here. And again, I need you pushing. Never stop pushing, honestly. I don't know how this Ukrainian troop has supplies. Don't turn on night and day. Press the wrong button. It really is just like, just let me take Kiev, okay? Okay, the fall of Boston. Does that... That's eh. We don't really care what the Entente's doing right now. At least I don't think we care about what the Entente is doing. Stop this. Stop getting my units encircled, even though it's entirely my own fault. Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Blue Army. What the hell is this front line? You should basically just be here. Why well, are you moving once again your way towards Riga? If you can kill the Baltic Duchy, gets another border here. Poland is doing some good work, and I'm happy to see it. And I would like if you take Lvov. Again, taking more countries just helps you out. Again, like, we need more men. We were missing 10,000 rifles. I'm not upgrading my guns because I think that would be not suicidal, but like really not in the best interest of us. Two slots. We're going to go for 40 infantry equipment. We're going to go for, I guess, Recon Company 2 seems okay. Okay. So. I need you here. I need you here. You are technically encircled. Kiev is technically open. How long till you get there? Three days, huh? Probably because your supplies are so piss poor. Yeah, it seems likely. Seems like that'd be a good reason. Don't open up the uh, steam overlay. Okay, Riga has fallen. Is that enough for the Baltic Duchy to be killed? No. Not quite. You're worth one. You're worth four. I'm sure you attack this other guy instead. That'd be better for us. I mean, how close? They're 24%. I don't know if taking this one will do it. We also need to make sure we can keep Riga, right? 
And Poland's pushing our way through. Sweden is now pushing our way through here. The more countries we can get off the face of the earth, the better for us. Kiev has fallen. Gets Ukraine down to... 38%. I mean, better. For sure better. Not... Not where we need. we need. We need more than that. But it's better than where we've been in the past. What are you? You're worth 15 victory points. But that should be another... Yeah, another... Like, how are... You shouldn't have any supplies right now. I don't know how you are getting supplies into your country. Because, I mean, I've taken Kiev. I've taken... Like, a lot of your important locations. You don't even get railroads through here. Okay. Is that enough for the Baltic Duchy to capitulate? No, of course you're at 21% exactly. So actually, what you should do, I guess you're going to go your way over here. Take this city instead. God, this is maybe one of the shittiest performances I've ever had in this game. But that's okay. Okay, we're still holding Kiev. If I can kill the, um... If I can kill White Ruthenia, that would be pretty good. If I can take this city, that should be the end of the Baltic Duchy. Okay, there's some rifles for us. Excellent. Let's get Lithuania back into the war. And if I can... I mean, are you getting any... Yeah, you have, like, no supply routes. Well, you tend to, you're getting supplies through Mamel. So if we can actually take Mamel from you, then basically, as far as I'm aware, none of the Reichspack should get supplied. No, you're connected here. You're connected, but you're not. No, you are connected. So never mind. You're gonna get way less supplies than you might otherwise get. You still will be getting some though. Are you guys on aggressive on aggressive movement? You are, which again is nice. I think the, the Ottoman War is just starting now. That's incredible to me. You guys are free. I'm going to move you all the way around. They did take back Riga. But that's okay. Riga's not that bad. We're still missing... How many guns? We're missing 8,000. I really wish I could train more units. Like, it'd be so nice if I could just train more troops. Don't leave... Did you leave Kiev, you son of a bitch? No, you're on a fallback line. You're staying Kiev. Do not freaking do not move a muscle out of Kiev. I swear to God. You need Kiev, okay? And that's not that's not even like a uh, you can't argue that. You need Kiev, so stay in Kiev. Okay, Cohensburg is under our control. So that's good for us here. Again, I want you attacking, and honestly, be very very aggressive with your plans. I mean, if we can kill White Ruthenia, have a border with Poland. I mean, Poland is basically fighting all of the on all their borders, but overall, I mean, Sweden's pushing her way through the north now. They haven't really taken any major city, I believe. I mean, Frankfurt's almost there, but I do think that in the long run, we will win this war. Okay, we are going to win. It's just going to be uh, some of the worst wars that we've ever faced. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's going to be terrible for a little bit. I don't think I could. I guess I could ask you for troops. But you kind of need all your troops defending your current front line, so it makes no sense for me to ask for any men. And there's nobody over here that we can call in, so... Ignore that for now. Dublin has fallen. So that means Ireland is going to die soon. Let's Britain maybe send troops to the continent. Um, again, the Entente hasn't invaded, but again, it's mostly because they're probably still at war in the in the Americas. They don't want to get involved right away. Actually, are they in war here? No. I mean, I don't think the Entente's going to be a major change. Let's just say. Um, in this war, if they if the Entente join, like it sucks, but it's not. That bad? And I want to take you. You're a big, big city. 
Because you are... Yeah, you're actually a Ukrainian city. This German troop is leaving. I don't know where he's going. Maybe he's going back to Germany. If he's going back to Germany, I'll be happy with that. Okay, I want you to go towards Riga. Take that city, please, and thank you. Dockyards! Honestly, just give me more convoys. Everything else, I think, is a little bit immaterial right now. How much are you worth? You're worth two? Okay, we've now officially cut this off from here. Again, I don't think that really makes too much of a difference. Did have they taken Moscow? No. Moscow is still safe. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Move our troops around. Like, Germany, don't you want to leave all of this behind and go defend your own country? I mean, we've gotten Germany down to 82%. Belarus. Keep pushing our way through. 49, 58 up here. Like, we don't have enough troops to cover our own front line. Which is pretty bad, I would say. How many men did we how many men have we how many men have we lost in this war so far? Surprisingly only 371,000. That's actually amazing to me that that's all we've lost. How many German troops have we killed? Honestly, like all things considered, this actually hasn't been too bloody of a war so far. I mean, yeah, 2 million people are dead, but compared to where you're normally at, that's not so horrible. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you guys going? What the? What is, what is this front line? No, 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 no. You're here, okay? And you guys are also here. I mean, you're kind of... You guys are stuck a little bit, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. Go take their new capital, please, and thank you. Yeah, I want you pushing your way towards Minsk. I mean, yeah, supplies are really, really bad for them right now. Which I'm very, very happy with. What a fucking shit show. <laughs> like, what, what? Okay, rebellion in Yemen. Not even close to being our concern right now. South Africa is going to be at war with the Entente now as well. We've taken their next capital, which gets Ukraine down to 35%. You're going to do it, man. Get your way over to this five victory point city. I believe in you. But they have taken some other five victory point cities, which is not as, as good. Move your way up towards here. That's worth three victory points. I will take three victory points, believe you me. And then these guys. Yeah, you're also going to just push away in here, right? You should be on this line. You should all be on this line. Third Boer War, okay. Apparently you have supplies, but it means because you're in Kiev. Which kind of makes sense. I want you going here immediately. How much are you worth? Five victory points? Yeah, I knew I want you there. They've like unencircled themselves in like a really weird way. I'll be honest, it's kind of, a, I'm kind of having a hard time telling really what's exactly happening here. It did take that city back. But we do have another d battle doctrine. Uh, yeah, go for more organization, more entrenchment. That's nice. Oh, always, always happy to see some entrenchment bonuses. Uh, you. Move here. Attack. You are a Russian city. Ukraine is at 45% now. Because you abandoned this city for no godforsaken reason. And again, your line is like way too... Like, no, don't be over here. Right? Just be here. Even though there's clearly still not enough territory for you, for you to really get anything done. I still need you mostly just around there. What about, what about you guys? Yeah, you're just on the border of Transmir. I mean, if you can attack, maybe try to do something, but I'm not expecting the world, to be honest. Um. See, I do need to take this city. 
That much is undeniable. Move you here. Never mind, that didn't work. And Germany's broken my encryptions. I think we're really just waiting on the international to kill Germany right now. So that I can kind of, uh... Yeah. Yeah. You're here. Delete this line, that makes no goddamn sense. You guys stay here. Again, yeah, def definitely some of the worst looking boards I've ever seen in my entire life. We still have Kiev. Move your way to this city. Uh, it's gonna be force attack, we don't have command power for that. Poland, thank you for the guns, I do appreciate it. I'm still missing 8,000, but... You know, what you've given me is, is okay. I mean... You've almost pushed your way to Berlin, which is nice. I mean, I... I... <sighs> okay, move your way to this city, please. There's 70% here. You move your way up, you move your way like this. Uh, you're probably spread too thin this way. Don't overlap with purple. I don't think there's a reason to do that. Purple right now is dealing with their own situation. <laughs> um, I mean, you're you're one province away from Berlin. I would um attache with you, but you actually don't have the political power for that right now. And that's okay. I mean, if you were to take Venice, I would open up another front line with Austria, which would allow Romania and Serbia to maybe do a little bit more um a little bit more aggression there. 89. I don't know how many troops. We got two divisions here. I guess just kind of attack this way. I don't really know what to... I don't really know what to do with you, to be quite honest. I don't really know what the hell is happening for the most part. But it, overall, it's, I think we're winning, right? We're winning. Yeah, 15% in our favor. 11% in our favor just against Germany. It's like... It looks like a mess. It, it, and it is a mess. The Tall join the Entente. That's going to be another word the Entente's dragged into. Which, again, is good for us mostly because it means, um... Which is good for us. Most of it means that the uh, International is not going to be distracted with other wars that we don't want to be distracted with. Uh, Okay. You're still trying to push away later, it's not working. Thing is, like, when Ukraine dies, all this territory is just going to revert back to us, which is going to make my life so easy. So it really, our, our goal should be kill Ukraine. Right, like, that makes sense, I think. You're worth five victory points. We do want to take the 15 victory point city. There's a single Croatian. Oh, wait, no, the Croatian troops are actually leaving. No, stop that. Once he's gone, he's gone in 14 hours. Gonna have you march here, just so you're doing something. And now you're gonna march back to this city. It's gonna be another 15 victory point uh, swing for us. But again, you guys are not being as aggressive as I want you to. Go to Piskov. How many divisions do we have? We're, we're down. We have lost a handful, it looks like. Which is sad. Berlin still has not fallen. Fall of Cape Town. You have 12 divisions here. You, I think, are literally not doing anything anymore. Move your way to this line. Delete this. These guys, just ignore them. I, I don't think they're really going to play into things one way or the other. And you will be in this city... One day, five hours. There's a Ukrainian troop in there, because of course there is. Um, is there another city? You're one victory point, so you're not really, really what I'm targeting. Two of you here. God, our supplies are so fucked. Our supplies are so fucked. But I do think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, me, thumbs up. Now, do we click some down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.